right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the Jiu-Jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it work. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introduction to go inside the octagon this where we find this fight. The evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Leroy Caceres. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Bad intention. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. You ready? So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt. Whoa! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Caceres gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Big 
head kick. That's a good right hand. Wow. Let's go. You can do this. Keep going. And he landed the right hand there. Every part of himself. It's in his big leg kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Three minutes now to go in round one. Nice one, two there. Just missed with the left there. Punch is blocked. Nice shot there from Caceres. Right punch is good. The left also flush. There's no give on that leg kick. Engage in a single collar tie. Whiffs on that offering. Just over two minutes to go. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Caceres gets caught with that punch. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Checks the leg kick. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may slow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Just misses with that one. Left hand there on the inside. Big leg kick lands. Just misses with the straight left hand. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid it. Just unable to quite find that range. Bodywork really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Big head kick lands. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Calm down. It's okay. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Very badly. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Got the single collar tie. Straight punch lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Caceres moves out of the way. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice defense there, huge block. 20 seconds left. Oh! Serve him up, go get him. Oh, big left. Oh! And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it was high, and now he's got hurt bad. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round.
listen. All right, hey. You ready? You ready? Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Viserys gets caught with that punch. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll be you. He thought it would be a... Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And just misses with that big right hand. He lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier round. Just out of range with that strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Will the Superman punch land? There by Caceres. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Big leg kick land. Oh, brutal leg kicks to that lead leg. Those are going to start to add up. Caceres' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big kick land. Able to check the high kick. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, oh. Let's get going. It's okay, keep going. Just misses there with the left. What a punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Again, they will clinch. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. That was a thudding leg kick. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Caceres, man. That body kick. Nice block. Oh. He's, He's hurt bad. You're staying busy. And back to his feet. He blocks the shot. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Big kick. Over and over, he landed on big bodies. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Caceres. 
All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Nice job, baby. Let's see. Let's see. It's working. That boxing is working. Our stand-up game is so much superior to his. He has to try. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch over the top. Okay. Right punches there. The Saris's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh! Big knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Let's go, keep pushing forward. Good punch, Lance. Oh, Superman punch is good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Kick lands. Kicks down, the kicks down. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Great punch landed with so much power. Ooh, wee. Ooh, we what a right hand by this young man. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, single collar tie now. Nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Now. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Hey. Under two minutes to go. on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and intent. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.